totals. The Seattle Seahawks, 10 and 6 last year. To win the division, their odds are plus 275. So, second best odds. Strength of schedule, number 14 in the league. Their turnover margin last year was number one. They were plus 15. Head coach, Pete Carroll. Their offense, total yards per play, number 15 in the league, right, right dead middle, 5.6 yards per play average. They signed guard Mike Ayupati. They drafted wide receiver DK Metcalf. Uh, on defense, number 26 uh, as far as yards per play. They gave up 5.9. Defense coordinator is Ken Norton. They signed defensive end Ezekiel, uh, good gracious, Ancho. I can't even read my writing. I was, I was doing this at 12.30 last night. Uh, they drafted defensive end L.J. Collier from TCU, and that kind of surprised everybody. They are a projected favorite in seven games. Look, the over-under, I understand, eight and a half. The juice is minus 140 on the over, plus 120 on the under. Everybody loves Russell Wilson. Everybody loves Pete Carroll. Uh, they won 10 games last year. I've got them at eight and eight this year. I think it was a little bit of smoke and mirrors last year. Turnover margin there is always a regression to the means. They had the number one most turnover luck in the NFL last year. I don't trust Brian Schottenheimer. Um, they just did not put their team in uh, Ansa, Ezekiel Ansa. There you go. Um, I don't... I like Pete Carroll. I like Russell Wilson. I think that the play calling and whatnot suffered majorly last year. Eight and eight sounds about right to me. I'm nine and seven. I mean, we're we're close. Okay. I, I think they'll be a little above average. That is giving Russell Wilson a bump. That is giving Pete Carroll a little bump, and just saying I trust those guys. Yeah. Um, in the realm of the 49ers being seven and nine and them nine and seven, it is a. I like Kyle Shanahan and I like Jimmy G, but I gotta I gotta see it. Yeah. And with Russell and Pete, I have seen it. Yeah. And and that's that's where I get that just little bit of separation. If those two flip flopped, I wouldn't be shocked. Wouldn't be totally surprised. I, I guess I would having Pete Carroll have a losing record would would surprise me. But you know that offense, I mean, it, it could be bad. It could go south. That offensive line's not great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we'll have to see. I mean, that, last year I didn't think they were going to be very good at all because the offensive line was bad. I didn't think they could run the ball whatsoever. I thought Russell Wilson get outside the pocket, throw it. I was wrong. They ran it. They ran it successfully. They ran it well, um, and they didn't throw it that well. And <clears throat> which, which is what makes it even more crazy that like it, they didn't really focus on throwing the ball a lot. I mean, their their passing offense was kind of you know middle of the yeah. road, and they just gave him the most expensive quarterback contract in the history of the NFL. Yeah, but right? he makes that run just because he didn't throw a lot. He ran a lot of those runs. Yeah, no, he I did. I mean, he's. He is the guy that you got to pay on that team. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't afford not to. They don't sign. have a, 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 a big offensive player that you're saving that money for. No, and I mean, nobody's I giving Chris Carson or Rajar Penny like a Zeke deal. Okay. I, I do think um, who did they, Doug, they lost Doug Baldwin. Now, they've still got yeah, Tyler he retired, Lockett. But he didn't play much last year anyway. I mean, he yeah. was hurt almost the entire season. Um, but I think he was a good locker room guy. Like, I oh, think, no. I think, I think that dude one. was a leader on that team. Yeah. And I think that that means something. I don't True. know what it means. I don't know exactly, but you know, I've got them eight and eight. Uh, you got will, them nine and seven. Yeah. I will tell you the the pictures of Metcalf and Lockett like working out next to each other hilarious. are really really funny because yeah. one guy is a monster and the other guy is like a little dude. Yeah, but the little dude I think is gonna have some major league yards. Oh, I I think little dude's gonna have a big season fantasy wise. I'm yeah. I'm I'm big on Lockett this year. All right, that's going to wrap up our NFC West and AFC West previews. Of course, you can go download the other ones. Uh, Monday through Thursday this week, we have done all, all 32, all eight divisions. We're done. So go check them out for yourself. Of course, tomorrow's show, we will have our over under picks uh, for Vegas betting odds on the regular season win totals, uh, our five favorites, of course. And we'll have our Super Bowl picks and playoff picks. Uh, you can find more information about us over at winningcureseverything.com. So make sure you visit tunicatravel.com for our presenting sponsor. We appreciate you guys being here. Leave some comments for us. Hit that subscribe button. Leave some nice reviews on the podcast. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. 
Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.